Welcome, Toms. It's so good to be able to speak with you, uh, though not speaking face to face seems very strange. But that's been the way of this week, isn't it? Strange. The world we know is, is changing its ways. And the change and uncertainty has lots of people very worried. Worried about getting food from the shops. Worried about our health. Worried about school. Worried about work and jobs. Worried about our family. Worried about grandmas and grandpas. It's concerning when so many people are worried. But it becomes a time where we need to ask, who is it that we serve? Who or what are we devoted to? Our answer to that will help us in dealing with our concerns. In church, we've been listening to Jesus' famous Sermon on the Mount. The chapter we're up to asks the questions that help with our concerns. It asks, do we follow Jesus so that other people see us and approve us? Or do we follow Jesus to please our Heavenly Father who sees everything? Jesus goes on to say, live your life so that you're storing up treasure in heaven. Because you know what? Nothing can take or change or destroy those treasures in heaven. Not even a coronavirus can get to those. Will you keep serving Jesus at this time? Will you keep trusting Jesus at this time? I sure hope you will. We don't know what will happen next. We don't know what we'll be asked to do next. And that can be concerning for people. But Jesus in that sermon goes on and says, Do not worry. And let me read to you from Matthew chapter 6, verse 25. Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns. And yet... Your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Can any one of you, by worrying, add a single hour to your life? And why do you worry about clothes? See how the flowers of the field grow. They do not labour or spin. Yet I tell you, not even Solomon in all his splendour was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, will he not much more clothe you? You of little faith. So do not worry, saying, What shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or what shall we wear? For the pagans run after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows you need them. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Friends, we live, uh, we're living in a special moment, a, a, a moment right now, a moment to turn to the God who knows tomorrow as well as he knows today, as well as he knew yesterday. Uh, we have a moment right now to find strength and refuge personally in Jesus. Jesus who died on the cross to save us from our sins and make us his own forever. We have a moment right now to love one another and to love our community by turning to the one who will make all things new, the one who has given us a sure and certain hope for all eternity. We have a moment right now to face change and fear and a world of uncertainty by taking hold and holding out the one true hope. Let's seek his kingdom. Let's lead others to this kingdom. The days ahead, they will be different. But the days ahead will be the same. You see, people are longing to get past this COVID-19 crisis. But as God's people, as followers of Jesus, we long for something greater. Something that has and is and will keep happening. We long for Jesus to save and raise people to new and true life in him. So we will work hard together to keep meeting so we can be loving one another. 
And so we can keep reminding one another that we have the greatest treasure in the whole wide world. We have peace with God and nothing can change that. The leaders of our ministry groups are meeting with me this morning. Uh, they love Jesus. They love you and they love our community. They're committed to keep doing Jesus' work because they know he is with us always to the very end of the age. Our boys and girls in Kids Church, uh, they've been looking at who is Jesus. In Mark 8, he asks his disciples, who do you say I am? There has never been a more important question to answer. These days of social distancing, self-isolation, of lockdowns and travel bans and closing borders, this remains the great question. Who do you say Jesus is? As we read the Bible, we learn he's the Messiah, God's King, the Promised One, the Son of God. He's the sinless Saviour, the Lord of all. He is the way, the truth and the life, the living God, our eternal hope, our certainty in an uncertain world. In him is life and life to the full. Even in a COVID-19 crisis. Ask the people with you, who do they think Jesus is? And pray with them. Pray for our church. Pray for our community. Pray for our world. Uh, let me finish uh, by leading us in prayer. Dear God, we thank you for Jesus, your promised King. Thank you that in him we have eternal certainty in a very uncertain world. Help us not to worry, but store up treasure in heaven as we keep trusting Jesus. Amen. I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.